I am willing to bet that there are millions of people out there who are all making the same mistake that is causing them to doubt themselves and feel like they aren't good enough. And it is a mistake that is entirely avoidable if we only had the right mindset for how we look at our challenges and failures in life. And I'm not going to draw this out and tell you at the end of the video, I am going to tell you right now. So please keep watching because I think it's going to shock you. The thing that so many people in the world are doing wrong that's causing them way too much unnecessary mental and emotional pain is that they are obsessed with happiness. Now, while having higher levels of happiness in our lives is wonderful, the problem with being obsessed with happiness is that we start to define our quality of life based on one question. Am I happy right now? And what could possibly be the problem with that though? Because happiness is great, isn't it? Yes, of course. But if our main goal is to be happy and we're measuring everything in our lives based on whether we're happy or not, well then what happens when we aren't happy? Well, we're unhappy, right? And when our primary goal is to be happy in life, something really problematic happens. We start to see all of life as a measurement of if we're happy or unhappy in any given moment. And the problem with that is that it's so binary and extreme and at best we may feel happy maybe 50% of the time which also means we might feel unhappy about 50% of the time and if we haven't learned how to manage our minds better during those unhappy times then as I said at the beginning of the video we're going to see an increase in doubting ourselves and feeling like we aren't good enough and so in this video I want to introduce you to a new mindset for looking at all of this that can help you build your self-love and confidence in any moment of your life, even when you're experiencing challenging and negative things. Seriously, I want you to imagine that you are experiencing total, utter crap in your life, but by using this new mindset, even in those challenging and difficult moments, you'll still be able to build your self-love and confidence simultaneously. So what is this magical new mindset? Well, it's all in how we see our own thoughts and how we feel about life. Instead of seeing things as happy or unhappy, I want you to see them as constructive or unconstructive. This simple reframe is the key to transforming your life. Okay, so what does that mean and how can we do that? Well, I hope you'll keep watching right until the end of the video because that is exactly what I will be explaining. But before we dive into it, if this content is helpful for you, it would really support this channel in reaching more people if you could take a quick second to like this video. What are constructive versus unconstructive thoughts? It's simple. Let's use the metaphor of building a strong body to explain this. In order to build a strong body, you need to exercise and build muscle, right? And the process of building muscle requires some short-term aches and pains. But then as our muscle tissues have time to rest and repair, they grow stronger and that makes us feel good both physically and mentally, right? And so because we now know how this process works and we know to expect some short-term pain as a part of the process and that that will eventually lead to good things for us, we can now look at the process of exercising as being a constructive thing that will help us and we can have constructive thoughts about it, even though we know there's some level of pain involved in the process. For example, instead of having an unconstructive thought like, oh, I hate working out, I'm in so much pain, which I think means that I should just give up. Instead, we could create a more constructive thought like, even though this is really hard and it hurts, I'm proud of myself that I'm investing in my health and I know that this is all a part of the growth process. How can we create constructive thoughts? In order to create constructive thoughts, no matter whether the circumstance you're experiencing is positive or negative, I want you to focus your thoughts on how you can be proud of yourself through the lenses of my six positive reframing tools, which are progress, learning, growth, gratitude, acceptance, and patience. And by doing this, we can even take challenging things that we're experiencing in life and turn them into opportunities to grow and develop ourselves. Much like how we can use an experience like exercising and the short-term pain that comes with it to strengthen ourselves, when we learn to more consciously choose our thoughts so that they are more constructive, we can do the same thing in life. That is, we can take difficult circumstances in our lives that may be causing us some level of pain, and then by choosing Choosing to create more constructive thoughts about those things, we can turn those into opportunities to strengthen ourselves emotionally and mentally. And just to be clear, this then means that unconstructive thoughts are thoughts that focus on a negative perspective of what is happening in your life, which is of course an unconstructive way of looking at life, which can invite things 
things like self-doubt, self-loathing, and insecurity into our lives. And I'm sure we'd all like to avoid doing that. And the good news is that we can do that by focusing on creating constructive thoughts for ourselves instead. If you'd like more help with learning how to develop constructive thoughts by using my six positive reframing tools, I hope you'll check out my three-part Love Your Life video series, which explains more about my core framework for doing this work. And I also have a free workbook you can download to help you practice developing your new thoughts. And I've also included some additional examples of this work. Is it really possible to have constructive thoughts about negative things in our lives? Yes. However, the key to doing that is to practice detaching the type of circumstances happening in your life from the type of thoughts you're having about them. I think that our human default way of thinking is to assume that if something negative is happening in our lives, that that automatically means we should have negative thoughts about it. But that is not true. As we've already discussed, it is possible to have constructive thoughts about negative things going on in our lives. And remember, constructive doesn't mean happy. No, constructive means constructive. It's about seeing things in a way that will better help you and then developing this kind of thinking can change your life and how you feel about yourself in a very positive way. In last week's video, I talked about how we can use a cognitive tool called reframing to reconsider how we see something and where we can more consciously choose what we want to think about it. Reframing our thoughts is the key to creating more constructive thoughts and it's something I talk about often. So if you haven't seen that video yet, you can check it out here. By no longer thinking of our thoughts as being happy or unhappy and starting to see them as being constructive or unconstructive, I want to know if that is helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if this is making sense to you or if you have any questions that I haven't answered in this video. Okay, if this type of content interests you, I really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel for more mindset and personal development videos. Have a great week and thanks for watching.